but that's fine. Uh, I've had those break off, but uh, copper wire is pretty cheap. I'm doing this now because if this gets too thin, I won't be able to thin the base without snapping it. So that's that's good enough. Now I just got to get rid of some of that mass so I can do some notching and then put a point on it. use direct percussion for just rudimentary shaping. I know some guys are really good at the direct percussion, but I just can't, I don't, just don't have the accuracy. This allows me to be very precise as to how much force and the placement of the strike and the angle so it allows me a lot more control than with direct percussion and I can do this with antler too it's just the copper is so much easier easier to maintain and I don't have to sharpen that any, at all Antler wears down quickly. What I'm doing is I'm thinning and I'm shaping at the same time. And I can feel where the lumps are as I do a pass. And I just hit where I feel a lump. So you can see that that flake originated there, goes more than halfway across, and it thins it out pretty nicely. I can't do that with a pressure flicker. I've tried and tried and tried, and I just cannot seem to get the flakes to travel the way I want to. And I don't know if it's because I don't have enough practice with it or just can't get it. Just can't wrap my brain around it. I don't know. But I like this technique. I've been using it for about a year now. It's taken me a while to get used to it. I've started with copper. Then I went to antler for a while. And now I'm back to copper again. The antler really helped to improve my skills because it's so much more picky. I'm doing the film, sweetie. I'm losing sight. Oh. I gotta center this better.
I'm not hitting it that hard, just enough to peel off those flakes. It's amazing how hard I can hit it though without snapping the whole thing. That's the beauty of the indirect percussion. It really allows you to work hard stone, it allows you to drive long flakes, it allows you very precise control on these small points. So I use this technique almost exclusively now for everything. I'll be using some uh, pressure flaking here in a minute when I do the notches and the uh, edge work. See, I was hitting it pretty hard there. That's a nice flick. I can't do that with a pressure flicker. I gotta be very careful at this stage. One wrong move and the whole point snaps. I mean, it will snap. I could leave it like that. Let's see, I don't want to take too long. We'll stop here in a minute and then do the notching on, an, on the next video. I've pretty much thinned it down as much as I want to. I don't want to go much thinner than this. I'm going to drive a couple more flakes and that's about it. There's still a lot of mass in the middle. That was pretty good. That was good. See that, I don't know why I can't do that with a pressure flaker. It's just some special thing that allows you to take flakes off like this with the indirect percussion. And they're really nice for thinning out the blade when it's this small. All right. I'm going to uh, leave it right there like that and uh, do the notching and final edge work on the next video.